Now when we want to integrate with our Salesforce through API connection, we need a way to authenticate the call. Okay, like normally when we sign into Salesforce, we need to provide in our username and password. But when there is a call through an API, there is no human sitting there to type in the username and password. So we need a way of authenticating to our Salesforce and access its features. Now there are a lot of ways by which you can programmatically authenticate through any application, not only Salesforce, like SSO and we have Federation authentication, we have OAuth and all. So in this course, we will specifically look at the OAuth feature of authentication. Like in the SOAP video, you must have seen that when we pass in the username and password, we receive back a session ID. So similarly here also, we need to pass in the authentication details and we receive back an access token. The only thing is that by integrating through REST, because there is no uh, transfer of any visual or anything, so it's totally a different concept. So here we need to pass in couple more things like client ID, client secret, okay? So those kind of things need to be passed here along with your uh, URI, token URL and all. You need to pass in your username. And when you pass in the combination of all these things, you get back an access token. So by making use of the access token, you can make the subsequent calls to Salesforce. If you go to Salesforce website, uh, you can easily see how does OAuth works. So there is an article which is pretty self-explanatory. Basically how it works is that you are the user here and this is the client application which you want to access. But you cannot directly access it because it is not a feasible scenario or it is not a normal scenario that anyone can come and access our data. So only the people whom we authorize should be able to access our data. So for that you give a grant request or authentication request to the authorization server. Now, uh, this server verifies your details like your client ID, client secret, your URI, your username, password, okay, security token and all. It verifies everything and when it finds everything is okay, so it issues you a token, an access token that yes, these information provided by the user are perfectly fine. So, I am accepting the request and then it will issue a token you will receive that token and by making use of that token, you will be able to access the client application and access the data and perform the operations which you want to do. Okay. So for this, basically, there is a concept called connected apps, which we will see in the next video. Actually, we will be doing all this step by step, but just to give you an overview that how does OAuth work and when you uh, create a connected app, you get back a client ID and client secret. You don't have to do anything advanced in this. It's very simple. We will see in the next video. So not to worry anything about that. And by making use of that through our Java code, we will pass in that value and we will see how we can get the access token back from Salesforce. Okay. I'm sure you enjoyed learning from this video. Please like the video. And if you have any doubts regarding this video, please comment us in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos. Do look out for other related videos in our playlist. For more information, visit our website now. Keep learning with IntelliPat.